okay. There's a large part of me that it just kind of hit me. Frank, are you naive? There are people that would do everything they can to keep things the way they are or to undermine the economy because they hate this current president. And here's a story. Really? New York Times has uncovered internal documents? So my first thought was, well, that's going to last uh, probably uh, an hour or two before word gets out. And lo and behold, Trump administration refutes New York Times report of internal document projecting doubling of COVID-19 rates. They basically says it's a lot of nonsense. I won't even use the term fake news. But people will read this. And people will believe it. Right? Now, do I know what is to come? I don't. Obviously, nobody knows what is to come. But as I began with my struggle and my, my impulse to, to be angry and even sin right now, I'm so tired of ignorance and indifference. And, and um, I interviewed a, a rabbi from Israel earlier today. It's um, right now live. It's about... Uh, 1.30, 1.15 in the morning, Jerusalem time. And hopefully he's sound asleep. We're going to rebroadcast that inter- interview tomorrow at 4 for those of you listening here on KKLA. But one of the things he said, and I don't remember how it was presented, but he basically said, you know, Frank, um, we can hope that whenever this does end or changes from what we've been addressing for, you know, four, six, even maybe even eight weeks now, depending on what part of the world you are, we, we hope that we would learn from this and that the new normal would be different. And then he said something very sobering. He said, but if you look to history at all with an honest heart, you'll realize we don't learn that we are more than likely to go back to the way that we lived before right? And he used the analogy of of not having a relationship with God. And as much as I wanted to push back and say, well, Rabbi, we don't know that, I think he's on to something. You know, we as a human species, we, we would rather worship ourselves than the creator who made us. Don't get defensive. Don't say, well, that's not me. I'm not saying it is you. I'm saying there are powers that be that are in rebellion against God, that want to undermine religious freedom, that just may worship money above humanity, and they would have a vested interest in, well, global domination. That's as far as I'm going there. 